Hello. Uh, my name is JP. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. We're back and to welcome back. our names. Yes. Welcome <laughs> back to Clipcast. It has been a while since we recorded an episode. Um, and uh, in fact, we've already started recording this episode, but <laughs> we forgot minutes. for 10 minutes, yeah. but we forgot to start recording video. Uh, so that won't be here. But if you want to listen to the audio that we recorded, it should be easily accessible where you're listening, where you're watching this right now. Um, anyways, continuing. Uh, <laughs> this will be our final Clipcast episode with me and Maria. Yeah. <laughs> the final final, I hope. I hope that Constance and Chihuahuas go on without us. But uh, me and Maria. Make it sound have... like you're dying. Go we're... on without him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, me and Maria yeah. have graduated. We're alumni now and we're going to run away to university. And... We run away. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, Constance and Chavados are here to uh, to talk to us about our our future pain. About your abandoning <laughs> us. Yeah, exactly. And try to convince us <laughs> to stay, you. obviously. Um, <laughs> so, shall um, Constance, would you like to? Sure. Um, so we'll we'll restart with Maria asking her what she she wants to do in the future. And I say restart because the first 10 minutes were speaking about yeah. that. That's all right. We'll do that again. Um, so, Maria, tell us what we have never heard before. What do you want to okay. do in the future? <laughs> so, surprisingly, I bet none of you expect this, but I'm doing yeah. law, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm You're staying here. I'm doing a law degree, <laughs> yeah. I'm staying here in Portugal. Um, at least that's the plan for now. And I'm taking <laughs> doing a law degree which is four years, and after those four years, I would like to go abroad and do something more artistic. That's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> JP, what about you? What about you, yeah? Yes, um, about me. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so my plan right now is I'm going to go to Netherlands and study physics. I want to do a physics bachelor degree. Um, I'm going to Groningen. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously the way it works with going outside is I'm not sure if I'm going yet. I hope so because you get an offer and then you have to wait for your grades to check mm-hmm. if you're in. But my main plan is just going to the Netherlands. And yeah, I'm just, in terms of my future, I'm gonna study the bachelor's degree and then I'll figure it out. <laughs> my... your face, you're like my future. Yeah. 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 No, <laughs> that's a, that's a tricky question. We never know. No, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't. One know step at a time. Happen. My kind of dream-like vision of my future is becoming like a physicist researcher. That sounds cool. So I'd like to keep studying physics afterwards, and uh, do a master's and a PhD and all that stuff. But who knows what could happen um <laughs> i might not like physics as much as i think i do or anything else. <laughs> but right now i'm really excited to go and um the thing is uh like maria said <laughs> hello <laughs> like, like Sorry. Maria said in the previous part that we didn't record the video in um you know physics doesn't just open doors the physics bachelor doesn't just open doors for like research and teaching you can also do lots of other stuff like surprisingly finance and uh, economics and like working in companies because it involves a lot of stats work working with stats Mm -hmm. so you know i think it's a good choice and i'm just i'm not too worried about the future i'm just gonna go with the flow and kind of do what i want so it's good it's, if, that's if really good anything <laughs> far away from those lines i'd be worried because that's not like in my head that's not the type of person you are you are in a <laughs> this is exactly what's going to happen and if it doesn't i'm going to lose my mind <laughs> no that's that's a, uh, that's also like that's why it's good to like keep an open mind and you know there are people yeah. that, like plan like every second every step of their life like i want to go there and do this and then work in that company and that's not very good because like exactly yeah, like what if exactly. that doesn't happen you know yeah, you'll just be left like what do i do now my whole plan was like <laughs> turn apart i have exactly. no life 
I have no future. Like, no, you should just like, like you said, like go with the flow, you know, have some sort of idea of the things you would like to do, but like stay mindful and like keep an open mind to different yeah. opportunities that will come by. Yeah. And that's, speaking. That's a big problem. Sorry, sorry, Coco. Right, no, I was going to say, like, speaking from the perspective, like, we just did our A-level choices and there's kind of a lot of pressure to figure out, like, what, <laughs> what your future is going to be. Yeah. And listening, like, to you guys saying, like, oh, even, like, oh, we've graduated and even we don't, aren't really, like, completely 100% sure, <laughs> you know, of what we're going to do. Like, we have an idea, but, like, there's still a lot of doors open. Like, it's really comforting exactly. to know, I, you know. I, re I remember, like, I think we were in from 10 JB and we had this one of our first of many assemblies talking about like university in the future and I remember Miss Johnson said and you you have to remember that you're making like these choices for the next three or four years of your life not your entire life and I think it's very good to be told that because like you kind of know it but like when <laughs> every time people just... sorry uh, 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 just uh, uh, every every time people like talk about it it seems like it's such a daunting and big task because it seems like okay i have to make this choice for the rest of my life and if i make <laughs> the wrong one oops i guess i should have you know been smarter about it <laughs> you, like it's very reassuring to always know that you can change you can like you know, you can drop out and do something else if you're not happy in your degree you can try a different one if you're not happy in your job you can get a new one you know you're never stuck and i think that's very reassuring to like hear because sometimes like you can, it, it, it is like a very like scary thing to decide your future you know so mm -hmm. to know that you always have the freedom to move around to experiment experience different things i think that's very nice yeah no i think that there's a lot of people especially when you're a kid it makes it seem like first that the igcses are the most important thing ever <laughs> the a levels are the next most important thing and then university is like you got to get university right or you're screwed <laughs> like, no like, <laughs> A lot of people get, get the illusion that they're stuck with whatever they're doing and they have to do that. But the reality is we have the freedom to do whatever we want, whenever we want. Yeah. The only thing holding us back is ourselves. That's and like, so yeah, I just think people can't pressure themselves too much. And what we were saying before about like trying to plan everything, if you set your expectations too high or like too specific, you're setting yourself up for disappointment, you know? If you build mm -hmm. your worldview around you thinking that you can control what you're going to do in the future, you can't. Like Things are so unexpected. You you can't yeah. know wh where you're going to be in like three years or even a year or like six months. Mm -hmm. Stuff <laughs> changes fast. So yeah, I think like having an open plan is good. All right. Well, let's let's carry on on this inspirational uh, <laughs> note. And um, JP and Maria, what are your biggest takeaways of... Uh, being part of Clipcast for a year, a little over a year. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, if you don't mind, uh, are we going first? I, like, we started this, like, during, like, a rough time, you know? Yeah. Like, in yeah. the world, we were at home, we weren't at school. And I think, for me, I really enjoyed taking part in Clipcast because, you know, this was a group of people that like we had like a set time to come together and talk and we would like at the beginning we would talk like for hours sometimes <laughs> and it was so nice because it was like something different from like my mon mundane everyday life because you know like there's yeah. like the your family that you talk to every day there's your usual group of friends that like, you talk to when something happens but then like you and guys there's like these three weirdos. and then there's yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then like there are like these three like you know you're my friends too like that it was really nice to like talk to you about like the, all these different topics and how you were doing like how we always started the episodes like how are you guys doing you know and we would talk and it was always about, like, how are you and yeah. we're like good good, good. so what's good. next <laughs> and it was just really nice like over the time get more comfortable with each other and like find common things and talk and I I just like it was really good you know I have many memories of like being in my room and my mom was like why were you laughing in your room you know mm -hmm. and I was like oh mm -hmm. I was just, <laughs> just recording a clip cast episode it's nothing much you know and it's just like I have like all these fond memories like in this like these dark times that sounds so mysterious but <laughs> ominous <laughs> it's, it's true like you guys made me laugh and smile and uh, like have nice memories uh, and like in a rough year so I'm thankful for that yeah, yeah. <laughs> I totally agree with everything you said. I think it's like, 
it's totally like I don't know when we started, especially like before we had Costas and Shahuadas in our group, like recording clipcast seemed like a formal thing. Like a Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was me in the With background being like, cool. <laughs> yeah. You had scripts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now say like, this, well, now say that. Read the script, and then you'd, you would just laugh at the script. And I'm like, cool. Like, yeah. Did, what? But that was like a really nervous laughing because like, you know, yeah. we'd start recording and we'd get so nervous because it seemed like a big deal, but it's not, it's not a big deal. Like, I think one of my biggest takeaways in terms of like skills and like, is I'm much less camera shy and microphone oh, yeah. shy now than I was at the start. <laughs> Uh, but like I agree like having these conversations where you just get to talk about not whatever but a lot of things and it's really nice and we can get all philosophical and discuss things, it's really <laughs> and fun. in the same episode we can be talking about how <laughs> you've broken your skull 27 <laughs> times and then the really sentimental like yeah. this is great and time travel and pets and like... exactly yes. <laughs> yeah. it's great it's really nice and uh, I, I'm glad that some people like listening to it as well. That's good. <laughs> yeah, well, I wonder if for you, for you two, is it? Do you think it's any different to to you than it is to us? Since it was your final year, do you think it impacted you a little more because you were you were going through like like I said this this tough time in form twelve, and then you've gotten given this this project? Do you think that affected you in any way? Left them lost for words. <laughs> uh, I don't, yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. I think like this year, especially with COVID, uh, something that I struggled a lot with was feeling productive. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. this felt like a really chilled thing. And at the end, we had produced. You felt a, a sense of yeah. like accomplishment. You feel accomplishment. Yeah. yeah, I felt accom- I, f- I felt accomplished every time we recorded, and it went well. And it was, it's like it's, it was nice. It was a nice. I don't know if this is a hobby or like it's a project. Yeah, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I think it made me feel better when we're all like struggling to feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so, so too. I, yeah, I think you're not it's alone. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Yeah, but especially it being our last year, I guess I think it was just like it's nice. I mean, I guess I you know. wouldn't really know how it affects you differently to us because you didn't experience no, it yeah. like us. So. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just think it's, it was good. What about you, Maria? Any thoughts? No, I I, I agree, and I think <laughs> like like you just said, like we can't really compare like how it made us feel and how it made you feel. I think like the the thing that like the reason like it was so impactful, I think it was really because you know during the coronavirus and quarantine, having to stay at home and not being able to see people during like the first phase, like last year. I think. It wasn't really just because like, it was our last year or, or from 11 before. I think it was really just because, you know, it was nice to see, like, these faces you wouldn't be with you didn't all feel the so time. Isolated. Yeah, I think that was mostly it. Yeah. I think so too. Um, <laughs> looking at, at the, the list, of, list yeah. of sort of questions we came up with. Yeah. Um, and I, I laugh every time I see this specific one because it's exactly. a, a very Mr. Carvalho question. Yeah. Um, which is Agreed. for for you two, do you feel like you're leaving the podcast in competent hands? <laughs> Answer this carefully because yes. the competent or non competent hands are right are here. Right here. <laughs> you know, when when I read this question, I thought that they meant like the next hosts. They Me probably too. do. Well, here's the thing. Uh, he probably means. Do you feel like we can we can get new hosts and keep this going as as well or, or better than it is now? Yeah, I mean better, better, better. It, yeah, you know better, that's better. hard. It's not not no. gonna happen. But um... <laughs> it would be good if it got if it got better because that's a good trend, you know. If it keeps yeah, it's a good better. sign, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. No, but like I, I'm confident that like in you, like any Ninja's abilities, you know. Because oh, no. you you you've been doing this for like a long time, like you know how this goes, like the the relationship that like the co- you're supposed to have like with your co-hosts and stuff, you know, be comfortable around each other. And I think I think you guys are gonna do a good job, you know. Yeah. What I my my only sort of 
It's barely a concern, but my only sort of concern <laughs> about it is, um, <laughs> I feel like we all had some sort of bond, at least I did with you guys. Like, yeah, uh, JP has been pretty close with my brother, so I knew him from that. I knew Maria from choir, and I knew Annette from choir as well. It was fun, <laughs> JP. Um, <laughs> <laughs> For any of those watching that don't understand, I do it as my brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so he is, he is, John, he is my brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like my only sort of thing is getting new people involved. I, I you don't want to. Like you're, you're, you're worried of not having that connection that you have with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a very people specific person. I have this group of people that I like, and then everybody else, I'm like, no, go away. Thank you so much. The thing is, Christessa, I think, I think you're not as people specific or as microphone, sh not shy, but unenjoying as you think you are. I think, I think you're a very social person. No, me too, but with specific people. But I think whoever these new people will be, you will definitely find a way to have a connection with them. And you've always complained that you didn't want to be part of stuff as in like talking, but you've done really well on this podcast. And I yeah. think you totally like it, especially considering you're the one organizing our recording sessions. So I think that you're going to, whoever they are, it's more my job then. Totally right. connect with them. It's not your job. You're not getting paid. Well, no, <laughs> but... Yeah. No, if but I agree. With, it, I, I agree with JP. Study, so. Me too. Like, <laughs> like you know, I think he's right. I, I I met you like four years ago when I first came to Clip. Like first, like like you were saying, we're in a book club together, and then choir, mm -hmm. and like you know, it's those experiences that help you become connected with a person. And I think that when you choose your next co-host and stuff, even if you're not that close friends to them like already. I think through the clip cast, you know, you will have like these inside jokes and like mm -hmm. these, this shared yeah. experience, I think this shared thing you do that will help you become connected. Like I, like for example, like I was, I already knew JP because we're in the same year group yeah. and like we were friends and stuff. But, like we didn't hang out with like the same common friend group all the time, no. you know, but like with Clipcast, like I feel like sometimes like now I know you friends. better. We become yeah. better friends. So we have like inside jokes. Like every time I heard you say hello, you know, <laughs> like in to class anyone. or something, yeah. I just be like, oh, hello. It's really funny that we <laughs> trademarked you know? that word for you. Hello. And then yeah, time, exactly. says hello. Or even so, I yeah. know, like, when Mr. Kudvalu went around to give us the mug last year, we have Clipcast no. mugs. Oh, yes. And I remember I was like having a psychology classroom and he just knocks on the door and he's like, oh, can I speak to Maria? Yeah. And you know how, how everyone's like, first, oh, did you get into trouble? Oh. I'm like, yeah, probably that. And then you're like, no, I have merch now. I have merch <laughs> now. Yeah. And he gave me the mug. I was just famous. I was um, just like, oh, I wonder like if like JP, Constance, and Inez already have their mugs and stuff. Yeah. You know? I yeah. <laughs> like, it's you'll, cool. you'll build a connection. Yes. Exactly. I think I think you will. And another thing is like you were saying, you're not sure if it'll be better or the same or worse. I think it'll be better considering that when we leave, you'll automatically become more experienced hosts than me and Maria. Considering that we'll stop yeah, I guess so. I guess so. hosting, you will keep going and it'll it can only get better with experience. And um, I think and also like what do you define as better? I am curious, like about how good it feels to record it, or how many views we get. Or no, I, I genuinely, uh, Mr. Kavai is the the only one I think keeping track of views, and not because yeah. what <laughs> yeah, no what idea. he thinks of this podcast is is yeah. views. How how well is it doing? But because he's like, well, if we're if we're making it for an audience, it's a, it's a good thing yeah, to yeah. know that people are enjoying it. It's a good sign, right? I think. The only way it can be better or, or as good would be would be that sense of like feel fulfilled after after a, yeah. after a, an episode, even if it's even if it wasn't even aired. The fact that you did it and it, it felt good and it, mm -hmm. it's like felt yeah. accomplished. Yeah, I guess I guess that's that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I and hope I you think get that people... yeah, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> No, I was going to say, I think that it, like, in any, like, 
whoever like comes as new hosts it'll always feel different because like it'll be like different people like of course mm -hmm. like sure. but, but i think we'll still be able to find like a good connection like as maria was saying like with as the episodes go on like we'll start being more comfortable with each other because we like even us four like we knew each other but we weren't like oh like <laughs> as extroverted with each other as we are now you know yeah. so but i think it'll always be different not in a bad way though but i think it'll always mm -hmm. be different because you know like with our friends it's a different thing you know like, yeah, yeah of well, course okay. you were saying something <laughs> JP. <laughs> okay sure i was gonna say um I hope we're, I hope we you have get to like get better at interrupting. My God, this is our <laughs> last chance. So. Um, I hope that I know, I know. Uh, you guys get different people than us, like different personalities. Like I hope yeah, they're not too similar sure. to us, because that's that's what's gonna <laughs> make it better. If you get new people, you're gonna like get new dynamics and new concepts to for like you know branding. Like I have my hello. I'm sure you'll have something else when I leave. Uh, so I think like I think <laughs> we it's have to really figure out. It's really yeah. exciting. I hope you get some cool people. Yeah, Ines, do you have do you have anything in, in mind that you're looking for in in new co-hosts? Because that basically <laughs> the, the one thing in my mind is exactly what JP said, where I don't want Maria and JP replacements. I want new, <laughs> new yeah. people. I'm not. We're not gonna, we're not gonna <laughs> find two people that are identical. Yeah. So, no, I agree. Do you have I anything agree. in mind that you're looking for? I mean, that's a hard question. I don't really know. Like, I, yeah. but I, I, you know, like, but I agree with you. Like, we, I think we should get people like that are like different, like because of being themselves, not because of being a copy sure. of like <laughs> you guys, you know. Um, but yeah, as long like, I don't really know. I think we'll see. Like, I think we'll make a good choice. I don't really have any criteria <laughs> in my mind, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just like need to meet them, try it out, and see if like the dynamic works. <laughs> I think that's the, the best I, way to try it. The only quality I hope that the new hosts have that's similar to us is, I hope that they they have some rebelliousness to them. You know. Oh, I for hope sure. They don't yeah, yeah, yeah. To Juan Carvalho's dictatorship. <laughs> we we will not let them. <laughs> yes, we won't let that happen. <laughs> they continue our battle against the censorship team. Exactly. So we can have freedom. Our battle the... being mainly yours, JP. Um, yeah, <laughs> basically what I'm saying. I hope someone's as, the next ones are as rebellious as me. <laughs> they're not yeah, well, you're not going to gonna edit out. You can't silence me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, oh. <laughs> back to the... <laughs> <laughs> Please skip <give> this in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... um, Yeah, in, in, case, in case you keep this in, this is Mr. Kavad, who we keep talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think. Well, well, let's 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 shift the topic a little bit here. Back to the the list sort of thing of the questions we were gonna <laughs> ask you. One of them here is because this this episode was originally scheduled to be a day before onwards, so it was gonna be like, and and you you guys all were were superstars in onwards. I mean, Maria what had her own music video. Us? JP hosted. Um, Inez also had a, a live music video. So the, I'll, I'm, I'm here with like, some celebrities. Uh, and you we, talked we as well. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, talked. We don't have to talk about that part. <laughs> we, we, we all would have had to pretend that like we didn't know what was happening because we're all a part of all of our like. Well, no, we didn't. We didn't have to pretend. We just can go into a lot of detail. Which, by the way, none yeah. of you could go into a lot of detail. <laughs> <We> yeah. Could. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have been a hard, big question. It would have yeah. been a hard, big question. But you but, did, so you did all have have pretty big, big parts. I know, I know, Inez. Uh, so Inez was part of the the final live performance, which was like a ending the show on a bang, and oh, really energetic <laughs> and really. You guys were amazing, um, oh, and thank it was, you. It was a really good performance. I know for our, our camera operators, it was a bit of a stress point, but we got over it oh, and it was great. I imagine. <laughs> we kept um, moving around. <laughs> yeah, and, and JP hosted the whole thing. Yeah, it was amazing uh, as well. Maria had a... By the way, the, the video, uh, the music video, Maria, was amazing. Yeah, yeah. We had to, to record it um, on the roof of the school, which was... Yeah. 
fun to Joel get almost there. like was blown away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he almost died a couple times. That was great. <laughs> yes. A seagull almost wait, wait, ate wait, the sorry. drone. Who was blown away? Joelle. Joelle. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Yeah, because, you know, we were By holding wind, yeah. um, a reflector, you know, <laughs> and it was very windy, very windy. So this was already this filming, like, we, we ran to the other side of the roof. He was like, come here, we, we're going to do a one like, hey. final shot. Oh, and I was like, okay, God. okay. God. And there's a lot of wind. <laughs> There's a lot of wind. The reason they probably put like some of the shots in slow motion is because I was like, God, only knows hair on my face, you know? Like it was a lot of wind. <laughs> and Mr. Kiddo was just, your like, hair, holding like... the reflector. <laughs> and he's holding the reflector and it's going like this. And then he literally oh, like was on top of like this box thingy. And he Jesus. falls back, like blown away with like this oh, no. the reflector. And I we're see like, the camera, like, do we stop? And he goes, no, carry on, carry on. Like, I mean, carry on. And I'm like, like, are you okay? In the <laughs> bloopers, is this why you had a child hold the hold the reflector? It's it's not Someone a that's child. Much easier she to was be my blown age. Away. She was my yeah, age. No. You're our child. Um, we're teenagers. It, <laughs> and it was... and no, that wasn't the reason. She was holding it before. Yeah, before she was holding it before, but she was also like kind of being blown away. So, yes, that's uh, why we changed. Roger was like, I'll <laughs> hold it, give it to me, I'll do it, oh, don't no. worry. So he was holding it like, and he was like holding its ground, but then the wind picks up, uh-huh. and he just like sees start to flap, and he's just like, boom, like thrown back. And I'm, 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 and I'm like, <laughs> are you God only knows, are you okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just calling, but you're like, let him die, it's fun, continue. <laughs> I, I love that every time that McAllister shows up, he's always like grinning, like he's laughing. Yeah, yeah because so he true. was. <laughs> by the way, because he was, because he kept making jokes. We when we filmed him, it was him playing the piano, right? So he wasn't yeah. singing or anything, so he could talk. <laughs> and he just kept making jokes. At one point, he he's playing the piano, and then he goes, "What's over there?" And we all turn, and then he's like, "I got you." And just carries on. <laughs> That's why, <laughs> like the whole time, the, all the shots that you you see them laughing is because McAllister said something like, "Oh, at some point." So the person who was who was holding the reflector, her name's Joanna, and then for for the part in the beginning, she had to to run back. Because um, it was like a continuous shot. Yeah, and you and you don't see it because in movie yeah. magic, but <laughs> we just saw somebody running at full speed backwards. Um, so, so then, in the part where, where Maria is, is laughing in the video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy your bluff here, is just <laughs> Mr. McAllister in the, go- in the back going, run, run it! <laughs> All of exactly. us trying not to laugh. <laughs> um, so, so, a very, very fun video to record. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was such a great video. Yeah, it turned so out really that. cool. I'll always be really fond of is recording the, the opening video. The opening <laughs> video was Oh, that was good. So oh my cool. god. That was JP, really cool. Honestly, I was watching it here with my family. And like you show up and I'm like, is that JP? Looking and my like, are like I think it's I think it's JP. But for some reason in my in my head, I was like, that's JP's motorcycle, that's JP's jacket. What is it Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> Did he lend it to Pedro? And I was like, like yeah, Pedro that's his stuff. Yeah, Pedro Mena. For some reason, we were like, that kind of looks like Pedro's stuff. I was like, but I'm pretty sure it's JP. Like, it's all his stuff. It kind of looks like him. <laughs> but for some reason, it also kind of looked like Pedro. And we were like, who is it? <laughs> like, oh. yeah. dun, dun, dun. who is this? <laughs> yeah. It did oh, but I, I love the part when you jump from, like, the... Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my favorite part of the entire <laughs> That's video. That's our favorite part. Is <laughs> him jumping thing. off the balcony. <laughs> Yeah, like you just like get on the ledge and like he if I what? And is then he I actually just gonna see jump? your jacket falling and I'm like ah, fantastic. It's, yeah, it's the, the thing is like the whole video up until the part where I run up the stairs to Miss Morgado mm-hmm. is like that was recorded in one morning and I was we we like um, we started recording at like 8 a.m. and it was 30 degrees outside. He was so he I was, was like, dying. Oh God. <laughs> I was like full black leather, wearing my the clip uniform under with like black jeans and the polo, and I was oh, no. so <laughs> hot. I was sweating so much. And the thing is, I had had a party the night before, a COVID safe party, by the way. Everyone was tested, mm-hmm. but I had a party, <laughs> and I was hungover, and I'd only slept like three hours, so I was just dying. Oh, no, <laughs> dying in the recording. Just... So cool. What? I just was dying just in the recording. All good. Yeah. 
I was yeah. <laughs> running around for like three hours of us recording stuff. It was terrible. <laughs> it was pure suffering. It, like, pure I suffering. Felt, I felt amazing by the end. I was really happy with it. It was great. It was great. <laughs> it was an amazing video. My my mom ad- absolutely ador- adored the part where Miss Margado gets like on the on the bike on motorcycle the bike, on like the bike with you. Like she was like, is she actually gonna? And then like it, you just went off, and it was great. That yeah. was that yeah. was everybody's reaction. And by the way, the, the actual opening of the event, so from the opening video to uh, to the event where it's them live on live. the motorcycle, yeah. was so stressful because <laughs> yeah. I never knew, because every time we re- like we tried doing it, we practiced it, The <laughs> from me in the walkie-talkie <laughs> telling whoever was next to them, which was Mathilde Pesha, uh, to tell them to go in, it was always like, two seconds or sometimes it was five seconds and then sometimes it was like immediate so i didn't know when to tell them to come in oh right? yeah. yeah so then i was just like okay cool and so i said something like get the bike ready in the in the actual time like in the actual event i said like get the bike ready and we just hear the bike life and i'm like no please no stop stop, stop. Yeah. and then they're like okay yeah, because, and then because i could feel like, your stress energy <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like okay let's go <laughs> um, like, it <laughs> but what was but we, really we hard it. was what was like the second time like wasn't that hard, but carrying the bike up. Oh, oh gosh, we had that we was had, really hard. Like, yeah, I would take I would take the bike by hand to the pavilion, but then we had to put it on the stage, which so we had to like lift it about like yeah. one meter or, or something. Even and with many was, people, it was still really hard. It was how many yeah. like we and Mr. Grant just went like, hey. Talk to talk to the team and get like six people to go carry a bike up yeah. the stage. And so I just point to a bunch of people and I go, "Yeah, we okay. need to go over there." And they're like, "What am I doing?" And I'm like, "You're lifting a bike. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> go." No, and like no, we honestly, got like to almost the top of the stairs, and then like one wheel was like we needed another hand, and then Marina, like the monitor, she was walking yeah, down yeah, here, just like, yeah, yeah. "Please come here," and she we're just like, came yeah. running and just gave us the final push. Up first stage, she was like, yeah, so, like, it worked really this. well. Like it, the transition was really seamless. So like, it was. Congratulations! Oh my God. <laughs> and and in all the rehearsals, the transition was terrible. But in the last one, it went. Really yeah, well. it it worked really well. Yeah, and then, I know. Like, so, so we just like see you pull up on stage, and me and my sister go, "Oh wait, he's inside now." Wait, they had to bring the bike inside. What? That was <laughs> so hard. Yeah, yeah, so we did it. JP, success. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was perfect. I'm so glad that it was seamless. Like. It was so much work doing it, but Joker Bio yeah. always since Joker Bio started working with the media club here in Clip, it's like we have to connect the video to real life always. I remember. And it's it always looks amazing, and we're always like, yeah, that was a great idea. But whenever we're doing it, everybody's miserable because they're like, this is horrible. We can't get it. We this is not work. Yeah, I remember in the first commencement. I don't know if it's the first commencement that Joker Bio did when he came back, but it was like the one with the scooters. And like the, the yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, was that the first yeah. one really? Was that the first? Yeah, that, one? that's a very, a very that was. I think that was my first commencement right clip actually. <laughs> really, I'm I'm not sure if you maybe did one before, but that was the first one where we tried to connect real life. We did another mm-hmm. one the next year, or was that hope and joy? I don't remember, but it's 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 a theme connecting the video with like the actual event. It's it's yeah. really interesting. I like it. I think it's really cool. Uh, so I, I'm glad it, it went. It well. is. It is very cool. It always looked like. We always manage to pull it off somehow, and yeah. by somehow I mean everybody doing exactly what they're supposed to do and a <laughs> bunch of practices. And exactly. yeah, the team was amazing. The team for onwards. It was so um, good. It was so I good. yeah I, I got to work uh, more closely to them than you did at some points because we always had to steal you away because you were the host. So it's like you go over there and you prepare your things because you go. <laughs> I had to be treated like a diva. Yeah, water, yeah. We did, we did treat you like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we really? did great. You all did great. Sometimes, was, at was... some point, we had to carry something somewhere, like some lights off the stage back to the place, and somebody was like, "JP, come help!" And then I hear somebody go, "No, he can't sweat." <laughs> um. <laughs> Honestly, oh, that, that, that was like when when we were recording the music video. I wanted like we were carrying the piano to the roof. Yeah, and I was yeah, it was the same. I was like, I was like, I was like, Joan, Mr. Like, Kervai, do you need help? And he's like, No, you cannot sweat. <laughs> you stay where you are. And I'm like, But I feel so bad. Like he's like, they were like drop, like 
They were, they were struggling, dying, <laughs> carrying that piano up, oh my God. up the stairs. That, that must have been terrible. really hard as well. <laughs> like, I was yeah. there with some keys opening the door. Um, <laughs> I was kind of hoping that you guys would put the grand piano on the roof because that would be so Listen, cool. Listen, oh, everybody, well, every single person that saw that video was like, you guys should have done the grand piano. First it's thing. It's not easy. First easy thing. to crane, for sure, right? Grand, absolutely. Yeah. First yeah, thing, probably. grand piano is, is Mr. McAllister's baby. We were not taking that up to the... Uh, up to the um, roof. roof because even if he was like oh absolutely let's do it it wouldn't then fit. he'd see how we do it and be like absolutely not this is not but happening then, like, again, not it wouldn't happening. Fit, like because we have to carry it like like many flights of stairs and then through that door onto the roof Listen, and the, the door isn't next the to the roof. floor so we had to pick it even up like a little yeah. not a, not a, not a whole meter but like we had to like lift it aloft from the ground to get it into like the the roof and the grand piano, like, what? It would have been beautiful, like, stunning, but oh, yeah. it would have not have like the, the, the it logistics. It would have stayed there. Yeah. The grand piano would have stayed. There. <laughs> I think that's funny. That's I, where they would have music hilarious. lessons. The video concept. <laughs> Just singing on a roof. It's so it's so cliche. I love it. It, awesome. it is. It is yeah. very. It's great. Yeah. And you know, um, like, why I I loved it too because the roof had been the only like parting yes. clip I'd never gone to. Yeah, me too. So Sorry, now, yeah. like, I finished school. I've been See? everywhere. I'm you saw everything. Every Lovely. <laughs> Full experience. Yeah. yeah. We also really cool. we also had to had to save Mr. Cavalier's drone from a, a seagull attack. Oh God. <laughs> um, because so that last gorgeous shot, um, right at the end. Yeah. Of of the video, um, which is like tell me a, a, seagull crashed a into drone it. shot. No, it but didn't, there were many but it wanted to. Uh, the seagull. So we just saw like the drone. The drone was in its merry way, and then <laughs> and Mr. Quinn just goes, "Hey, people, look out on the drone because the seagulls don't seem to like it much." By the way, <laughs> that drone sounds like an angry insect. So the, every bird next to it is like, "What is that?" Um, so then, so then the seagull kept like lunging at it, but then get yeah. terrified of the noise. And so as soon as we finished, oh, we God. had we had the music that God only knows blasting in a speaker to know the amount of time we needed there. As soon as it finishes, I, I turn to Mr. Kravat and I go, "Hi, so take your drone away from there now before it gets eaten by a seagull." No, honestly, he, goes, like, he brings I, the, I the, the drone. Like gonna attack it. The seagull kept chasing it. <laughs> And yeah, eventually like, there were three seagulls, and then we like, really oh away. god, uh, we were like, just bring it back, bring it back. Like, bring it back and seagulls are fearless, like, oh, they, seagulls, like even if humans and stuff, like they don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, they're going for it. Seagulls will seagulls take on, fine. will take on a boat if they want to. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it worked out fine. We did it. You guys did great, because like so, I had no idea so JP you, was right? gonna be like the host that you were gonna talk. But that Inej was gonna sing. So like every time I was like, oh, this is great, you know? Like <laughs> I was so surprised. Aww. But I loved it. So I, I think you guys did like a tremendous job. And it was yeah. it was really good. You too. Yeah, and, and you, <laughs> you, said, you know yeah. what? Like that that thing we were saying about like how how Clipcast impacted us in our final year. I feel like doing Clipcast for a year really helped prepare me to host onwards. Because oh, like sure. if it hadn't been for Clipcast, I would have had like zero experience hosting this kind of stuff. You wouldn't would know have... what you're allowed to say, how you're allowed to <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't know how to do it. Like and yeah. I felt like when I was doing it, I was like, I've done this before. I, I yeah, just, this is do the hello. just wearing a suit and looking at bigger cameras. <laughs> yeah, so I think like this podcast really helped me prepare for that because if I hadn't I think it was really <laughs> that's that's a way it really helped me. Yeah, and yeah, I, I think, think it, it really did really well. Uh, sorry, yeah. Gregor. <laughs> yeah, I think it really translated to the audience. Like, I, I think at least for me, as we were watching, I was like, "Yeah, he, like he's having fun, and like he's like comfortable and in his role, and just having fun I with the people fun. and yeah. the audience and the camera and the performers." And I think like if you had fun, like people would have fun. And I think it really translated. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. So my, because my... of the your part. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say my, my cartwheel at the end. Just, like, <laughs> oh, that was cartwheel. amazing! <laughs> and the fact so, like, that you were wearing an Olaf costume. Yeah, yeah. I was wearing, I, exactly. I was wearing Miss Johnson's Olaf costume. And a lot of yeah. people thought that I was Miss Johnson when I started doing cartwheels. <laughs> yeah, at first I was like, "Is that what? Like Olaf, Miss Johnson?" But I was like, "No, no, that's JP." Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm never going to forget the fact that so by the 
the last like we had to we had to let um jp know every time that qr code appeared on screen we like yeah. mentioned the photos stuff like that so i would always have to be in the walkie talkie like gabby tell this to jp and then carry on um, oh yeah, Gabby, then, Gabby was my assistant with a little Gabby, clipboard. Gabby, Gabby yeah, looked so much. professional and it was amazing. Um, but it was, <laughs> so I will never forget the fact that I had to go, all right, <laughs> Gabby, make sure JP has the Olaf costume on uh, and is doing your <laughs> cartwheel coming in. I need to know if he's coming in doing your cartwheel or only doing it when he's on frame. Completely serious. <laughs> This is and the then stuff. she's like, yeah, this is this it. And I'm like, all right, okay, cool. And then he does it. And I'm like, this is ri- <laughs> this is ridiculous. How, how, what is happening? <laughs> but basically, like, what happened was the first cartwheel went great. It was okay. The but first like, cartwheel coming went back. Fine. And then you decided to do another one. I was so excited. I was like, let's go again. Let's do it. <laughs> and the thing is, like, since I was coming back, my hands were like chained. And I only know how to do a cartwheel with my right hand first. Like, like that. But when I was coming back, I was like, oh no. So then slams on the floor. So halfway through, I was like, I gotta switch hands. So I tried to switch, but by switching, I just ended up going down the middle instead of going sideways. I just did like a, I just. You just did a half cartwheel and then slam on the floor. It was like a handstand, but like a running handstand. Like yeah, just handstand yeah. and landed with my ass on the floor. Like, it was crazy. Like it didn't hurt at all, but it was like, it Surprising. sounded like it hurt. Yeah, it really sounded did. like it hurt. Uh, the it microphone... hurt like, I was limping for the rest of the day, for the rest of the day afterwards. But, like, oh, no. That was really funny. The microphone was pretty far from him because we had Miss Johnson hold it so she could give it to him as she was off frame. And then eventually he gets up. We're all like, what do we do? Is he okay? Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kavad immediately goes to, to Mia, who was in the camera that could see him, goes, point it down, point it down, point it down, to see him. On the floor, but I, but I um, stood up laughing. Potentially crying. <laughs> he he, uh, he was on the he was on the floor laughing, so that's great. But so then he yeah. gets up and then he goes to Miss Johnson and goes, "Can I have the microphone?" <laughs> and then we couldn't talk because it would appear on the live stream. You guys were so worried. Then it's yeah. us, and I was like, like the mic pointing quick. at you to go to her. We're like, no, she's not coming in frame. <laughs> go get it. <laughs> oh, you didn't want her to come in frame. <laughs> did was really did I go get it? I don't remember to be honest. I so, have no idea. It was fine. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. And you know, it's like all these things, like all these unexpected surprises that, like, at the time you're like, oh no, this is disastrous. This is not in a plan. But like we were saying before, you know, just got to go with the yeah. flow. It ended up being really funny. Like, everyone was, memorable. was really surprised. Like, <laughs> okay, that was a thing. Is he okay? Okay, yes, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, the, the thing I, I think. Uh, of those of JP um, like forgetting he had to mention something and us being like for example this we had to make a sign that was like QR code QR code yeah uh, <laughs> but so what my favorite part was we had Miss Morgada waiting at the side and it was his closing right so we had to have him present her and so uh, he like finishes what he was saying and then looks at us and he's like I forgot something didn't I because we're all like you're not done um and so he is like so so do we have any pictures <laughs> and then I I get far away from everybody and I pull my mask down a bit and I go Miss Margado so he goes ah is, yes you, Miss Margado no I I knew it was Miss Margado I just thought we were yeah but you thought we were doing what? something before us all yeah yeah, but then you were like, yeah. let's work out right now. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favorite part, because everybody's like stressing out. And he's like, big chairs? Ah, no, all right. Yeah, come in. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was feeling very relaxed. And I think it was nice. No, that was amazing. Yeah, I, it was I've, really nice. I've worked with, with the, like, for these big events, with, which was Hope and Joy and the first onwards. And now this one, so... Out of out of all the hosts, which by the way they were all amazing, everybody knows that because the events went great, and that's partially due to the hosts. But I can I can safely say you were the most fun for like for Relax. us in the event because it was like oh. we were looking at you, and the amount of times you actually made us laugh in the back. With the yeah, jokes. there were times where you guys laughed. It was pretty. Fun. And there were times <laughs> where where Mr. Kavad was just losing his mind. <laughs> Some of your jokes in the back were all like shushing him while we're all still yeah, laughing. Yeah, I, I would see his reaction. It would make me laugh. 
Uh, I also the thing think is like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, sorry, sorry, go, go. I, I like for all of these uh, like recent events that we started doing since COVID, like I was always the floor manager for the hosts. Mm -hmm. I was the floor manager for the fo first hosts, and then we the were preparing one, you. <laughs> And I, I was doing Gabby's job, basically, like mm -hmm. what she did now. And it's it's really interesting to like be on the other be side. Be on the other side. <laughs> yeah. No, what I was gonna say it was sorry, I keep interrupting you accidentally. But <laughs> uh, okay. like like you said before, all the other hosts were great. But I I feel like what you said before, the way the clip cast helped you made it feel more comfortable. I feel like whilst the other were very were professional and they had the jokes planned to say to make you know like people laugh. You seemed very relaxed, you know, very like. Yeah. And I don't know if you were just a really good actor, but yeah, you were there, like saying what you had to say. But you seemed very relaxed, but also like very composed, and it was a good blend, and it worked. Yeah, you had like a yeah. mix of planned moments and like just spontaneous, like <laughs> yeah. really like fun, you know. Most of it was was like semi planned, but like yeah, mm -hmm. it's like it's one thing saying like do this, and there's another thing like planning every single. Like, the movement yeah, of the eyebrow. <laughs> like my cue cards didn't have a script; they had bullet points. Mm -hmm. I just had exactly. to like talk. Uh, but the thing is, like most of my jokes were Miss Johnson's. Like she helped me a lot. Like a lot of the jokes were planned. Some of them were like I guess the <laughs> stuff I did was funny in the moment. Like when I read my mom's. Uh, you like that? <laughs> I love you, mom. Yeah. People thought that was funny. That wasn't a joke. I was saying like I love you, mom. <laughs> yeah. But that was uh, that was pretty funny. But like. Yeah, I think most of the jokes were Miss Johnson's, and most of the things were planned. It's just the way, I guess, that were. You just delivered yeah. them more naturally. Yeah, yeah I remember. Exactly. I was I was walking around. I was doing something. I can remember like during the event, and Miss Johnson say, "Oh, here you could say this," and you're like, "Oh, cool, great." <laughs> and you yeah. like, just get yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Do, 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 just writing it down. And I loved when you when you couldn't read the comments. <laughs> like you just got to <laughs> like, the middle, and you're like, "I cannot read." I cannot read writing. this, guys. And then me <laughs> just glaring at whoever wrote the comment. <laughs> like, what it's my fault. I I struggle with reading. So, no, like, illegible well, handwriting. Let's say that partially their job was to write it for somebody else to read, right? To read so, it, yeah. <laughs> but it was high stress and whatever, and it was fine. It, it actually landed for some some pretty funny. I don't think we've ever had. A host not be like, hey, I cannot read what this says live. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so, it like that. It's yeah. memorable. I think memorable. the moment I felt the most awkward and like I didn't do that well was the photos because I didn't know, I didn't know what to say. I was because like, the photos oh, were hey, going so you. fast, and you're like, it's a dog. <laughs> it's it's our oh, head look, girl. It's it's Martha. It's the, those people. It's like. I was, yeah, because like, we couldn't I was just saying their names, and if I didn't know their names, I'd be like, "Oh, it's a child." It's a child. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so awkward. I was like, "What are you doing, JP? Say something <laughs> funny about these pictures." But like, how can I say something funny? Would I mock them? No, that would suck. So like, would I just be like, <laughs> "No, no, hey, <laughs> look at you go." Yeah, but, I was um... I was having fun. I was so happy that so many people were watching and they were liking it. That made me feel happy. So. Right. Well, let's let's uh, yes, yes. end We're off running this, quite this very I hope long. That they don't cut this down because well, like, it's the last episode. They don't well, have we'll episode. we'll see. <laughs> we'll see with with the editors. Uh, you know, Zoe, we have to keep we have to keep this in yeah. because when we're in university and sad about life, we have to like we have, to have something to go back and look at and be like, <laughs> this, those this simpler will be days. A long episode. There there will be some parts that we're cutting out because, for example, we didn't have the beginning of the footage and we stumbled a bit. Yeah. But, yeah, we didn't yeah, record yeah, in a while. Uh, so, seamless segue. We haven't recorded in a while. <laughs> um, yeah. Why is that? Well, a culmination of issues, really. So Exams is a big one. Exams yeah. is a very big one because, uh, as we have mentioned several times, uh, these two alumni were, <laughs> were finishing their <laughs> exams, which means we were not going to distract them from their exams to mm -hmm. however much we wanted it to... to um, to podcast, to record the podcast, and then after their exams, Inej started her exams, yeah. and then <laughs> I did. So it was very stressful, <laughs> um, and so we decided, hey, let's 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 take a break. We were all very very stressed because of exams. It was my first exams, it, which were mock exams. It was Inej's first actual exams, yeah. <laughs> final exams. So everybody was very stressed 
and any any free time we had we spent studying or we spent um deservingly decompressing um <laughs> <laughs> so it was a lot like let's we we had a few meetings with the production team and we're like let's take a break uh, and instead of because we didn't want to to half do the podcast we didn't want yeah. a half effort yeah. Because, so like we said, we, we feel accomplished when we finish these. We we like what we create, and we didn't want to lose that. So we we decided we're waiting until we can, um, finally, again create what we like. Uh, unfortunately, this is the last episode with you two, but don't worry because we are having you back, even if it is against your will. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll make you come back at least. Once. We will make <laughs> you come back. Um, so this is why. We haven't we haven't um, been uploading uh, for a few months. Uh, we are hopefully, um, very probably, coming back September. Uh, hopefully, with new hosts already, and uh, for starting season three. Epic. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. And like before we leave, we should say our, our me and Maria should say our last words. Absolutely, say say your your last words because you were okay. you you were dying. We're dying. I'd like to like thank all. I'd like to like. You'd like I'd to like, like to, to thank like, thank okay. all of you because you have all made this podcast experience uh, better in your own ways, and it's been really really fun and really really nice. Even though just me and Maria started, you guys were always present present. Because we Shabbos was writing scripts and Corsessa was yelling at us. So it was, I feel like we've been together since the start, even though at first it was just me and Maria being recorded. Even though you were just, I, you were the only voices? Yes, the road cast. <laughs> the road cast. It was really, really, really cool. I'm like, I and Joan Carvalho, of course, uh, joining in every once in a while was really, really nice. I think. This has just been such a good experience. I will always remember it. And I'd like to especially thank Constanza because you blow my mind. You are so organized and you do so many things. Like, am I the only one that thinks this? Like, she's... No, I agree. Like, Honestly, yeah. I, in your year, I, did, I didn't do anything. I just read books and, and you, like, you can watched blame, YouTube. You can blame Mr. Carvalho for this. Yeah, you're like... <laughs> incredible i don't know how you handle so many things at once and it's it's really like a sight to see you're very talented as a logistics person and as like making sure everything's done right like for all of these episodes it's always been constantly like messaging us like when the episodes are she's she records it she makes sure everything's working it's like it's really a big deal so i wanted to thank Costessa especially because you know without her this would have been very different no. I agree. <laughs> it's a good time to say I don't know how to respond to compliments. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> what about you, Maria? Do you have any words? Any thanks? Any? No, yeah. It's the same as you. Like, I just want to thank you. I've said this before, but you guys made my my 2020, like, you know, a better year in some parts. And, it, like, I have many oh, memories. <laughs> exactly. Tolerable. You made it tolerable. <laughs> You, 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 like I said before, you made me laugh and you made me smile and you made me create, you know, deeper connections with like the three of you and Mr. Carvalho. <laughs> so, <laughs> can't forget about him. No, but it was, it was really nice. And I will always think back to this fondly. And it's like, it's, it is sad that this is our last episode, JP, but, you know, I will always think back to being part of the clip cast is you know with a smile like a very fond memory something is I'm very thankful for that i was like chosen to do this that i was asked because it was it was really nice i was super and surprised when i was asked me well. too me too wow. i was like hey, do you want do you want to take part of this new brand new podcast well, with were, jp were pretty the, immediate actually the thing is um when we were like getting the media club up and running i think it was before costas and shabbat was joined um yeah we were like thinking projects you know let's get started what stuff are we gonna do we're gonna host events like the media club has always done but other things and one of the first ideas i gave was a radio show slash podcast oh, oh so you've come full circle <laughs> i gave that idea and john carvalho was like yeah okay okay we'll write it down we're like shut up 
And like I, <laughs> I, I was always like, I thought the idea was so cool. I was like a weekly yeah. radio show that people can listen to about stuff that's going on. That sounds awesome. So I would like in the media club meetings, I'd like push it every once in a while to see if it stuck. And then one day I kind of let it go. And a few months later, Joe Carvalho like, "Hey, you want to host the yeah. podcast?" That's yeah. so when, cool. One day you let it go, and then he recruited <laughs> yeah, me, and I was back like, "Hey, let's do a podcast." Yeah. <laughs> no, no, and honestly, honestly and, 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 oh, sorry, come yeah. No, no, go, 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 go. No, I was gonna say like me, like Mr. Carvalho had talked to me and Matilde like about Planet Aid initially. Like we were talking about Planet Aid, mm. how it was going to happen like this year, and, yeah. and then COVID came, and he was like. Oh, like we've been thinking of this thing, like a podcast, and Mr. McAllister also like gave gave the ideas and stuff, and and we we're like, oh, that sounds really cool, and so we like we and we like joined we're and like, then yeah, it no, just we'll, we'll came get. together, like everything, yeah. like yeah, and, everybody okay. was was very much like, yeah, sure, we'll we'll see how it goes. I, yeah, I, it was yeah. a really cool thing because like yeah, for me, I I just like got a random email being like, hey, we're gonna <laughs> think about doing this like new thing. Do you wanna? Would you like to be a host? With with JP, like you know, you two like we play with you because you're like pretty amicable people, and I was like, oh, thank you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was it was really nice, and I'm very like glad that I was that I was chosen to do this because you know it got me to forge you know deeper connections with with you guys and to get used to like like I said before JP, I think this enabled me to become like a more comfortable like yeah you know like get people. Because most of these episodes, like we're gonna give you a topic and you're gonna talk about it, you know. Mm-hmm. But anyway, like the three of us, like besides Coach Dance, we didn't know what it was. We so, had such yeah. a tough time so, with topic ideas because we were like, oh, well, we'll come up with something on the spot." And when so we I, decided to do that, we talked about pets and teletransportation. So, yeah, see, but I think I think like it enabled like also me to you know like you said, be a better host. I hopefully I hope so. I hopefully in English. Yeah. I, I, and, I host fully. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just think it was like a great experience in general. So thank you. I think it was. Huh. It was great. And I hope that you invite us back soon as guests. Yes. Yes. So we Absolutely. Like that we'll, is going to happen. We'll, we'll give we'll give the the co-hosts maybe like like a few episodes to adjust and then be like here. Yeah. Here's what you have to live up to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the real deal. It's like we, we don't want to tell you you're doing a bad job, but you know we have but these guests coming. Take some notes and then see how it goes. Yeah. No. But honestly, thank yeah. you guys as well. Like this, these two seasons of Clipcast uh, were really fun, and you guys like were amazing hosts. And like as you said, I think I speak for me, Constance. Constance. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, no, right. I think she'll agree that like it was like a really a highlight of our like 2020 and 2021 Absolutely. to just record with you guys and have some fun and create a product that we're proud of at the same time. And it was yeah. really nice getting to know you guys better and like having this new town connection. Oh my god! And let's let's talk before before, uh, before there are tears shed. Um, <laughs> I, I don't say I'll definitely be listening to like clipcast episodes when you start. Oh, oh no, we'll be judged. You better start. <laughs> yeah. We'll be we'll be watching. We'll be I'm watching. imagining like you saying like, oh, so what? I just listened to this new episode. Like here are some tips. Like <laughs> exactly, <laughs> we'll be sending suggestions. Yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. please do. It's like you know, you know, the new Hello was a bit flat. I think you should. Um... <laughs> I think I think yes. you should fire the new host. Get somebody else. I didn't like them. Um... <laughs> Imagine I just sent a bunch of voice messages. This is how you do a hello. Hello, exactly. hello. Hello. You know, you lift your voice. You know, like a little upbeat. Yeah. Come on, like, repeat after me. Hello. I can give a master class on. on hello. <laughs> you mean they didn't laugh at their names for 20 minutes? No, we well, want somebody that's else. So, that's so too professional. Um. That's too professional. No, we can't have that. <laughs> yes, it, 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 I think it's, it's it was all good. It was all good. That's that's my last words. It was so, all good. So, so JP, do do we want to redo what we tried to do that one episode where we said you want to finally do a goodbye? <laughs> have, like, have if our... the hello is like hello, it should be like goodbye. And like sure, a, like sure, one of those, sure. Like, Go ahead. Bye. Do that then, like, <laughs> let's, like like a robot. Let's That's officially like, yeah, like a robot being turned off. Let's officially end this season with yeah. with JP's last hello and first goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Shall I do it? All right. Good, go for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello and goodbye.
Thank you.